how to send a mail to a user while doing some operation or while saving the data to the database. We will discuss that but after the intro. Hi, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Sending mail is the most crucial part or the most important part in the application. Like it, it shows you are interacting with your user or like you just forget the password to send a mail. With any confirmation from the user is needed, any verification of the user is needed, you need to send the mail to them. So and by the way, uh, this mail video is requested by one of you. And so I'm asked how we can send the mail to ourselves by saving the data. So I thought it's better uh, to make a video on this topic. So here I'm not sending a mail to ourselves. I will just uh, give a mail how we can mail send a mail to the user. You may already notice from the title we are we are going to use the no node mailer package. What node mailer do? It will help us to send a mail. It will do all the boilerplate code, and it that we, we just need to focus on the subject, whom to send, and what should be written in that code. Okay, so uh, if you look at here, I will use this old form like it in my previous videos. It is there. So okay, so uh, user will enter name here, like I will enter Subrat. And if I will submit, it going to send me a mail that you are successfully registered. I will do that, but after when I after show you the code. So here, this is the code for uh, for for the input. You may you may already know from the previous video. So you have a name and have a email field that is input field. And here, what you are doing on click of the submit button, we are calling. Re register method okay so uh, if you go to the register method here you will see that this is I'm loading for uh, the for the text change and all I'm creating a user I will let you know why I'm creating this and I created a method in the HTTP service and it's just making a post call and this is the URL and how we, we, we are uh, accepting that post call like on subscribe on success we are subscribed to the post call so you may already know that http that post will return a observable so we need to subscribe to that observable and if you don't know what is observable i have uh, three videos of observable i will link one of them here you can go and check that one so i will subscribe to the observable and that object in success of the data we are just uh, console logging that uh, and with register and with the message ID. So I will show you the backend now, like the Node.js. I will start the application node mon here. So this is our application. This is the app.js. This is the beginning of our application. You can go here and check in the package.json. Okay. So if you go, the main is app.js. So it's while you instantiate a node project. While you're creating a node in it, it will ask you the main file by default index.js. I change that to app.js. So here, if you go again to app.js, we are using different packages here. The express is for uh, creating the REST services. Like I, we created a GET service here and a POST service here. For that reason, we are using express. Course we are using so that uh, it's a cost uh, you may you may if you are using uh, angular or some other uh, from, from other front end framework you are and your server is different uh, than your backend then you will face this error that access control request origin so that it means that browser is not allowing you to access the other origin which you are not allowed to be okay so if you are doing server side application that means your application both applications hosted in the same server or the same port 
then you are allowed to you, you, you will not face any problem but here our uh, angular is hosted in 4200 okay and our this app we are hosting in 3000 port so now it seems like these two are in the different server so we will face an issue on that so for that reason we are using cos body parser is the is we are using body parser to pass the request and send the send our response to the client so for that reason we are using body parser and node mailer this is the today's most point of interest okay so uh, node mailer we, we are using for sending mail if you go to the node, node, node mailer they have pretty good documentation so you need to install node mailer in your project like we did it here node mailer is already installed like if you go to dependencies you can see we have using the 5.1.1 i think it's the current version today's uh, so and they have an example here okay so uh, they have a pretty good example i just use this example and modify it some code and uh, we are doing and details dot json here i am saving my username and password so i'm not going to disclose that one so we are creating an app which is using express which is using the course error now origin star means you are allowing all the origin like uh, look you can allow only local localhost 4200 or your own domain itself and you are arranging allowing we can allow only some call like post put delete and get you can restrict all the calls and so star you are allowing everything here and the body pass dot json is passing the request and give some response in a json way that's uh, what is using we are here we are saying that we are uh, starting the app dot listen means now the app will listen at 3000 port and this is the log we logging for so that uh, if you see this is get trigger here the server is started on port 3000 that means uh, this now it is this got started okay so here we have a two method one is get so that we can see i will go here and just refresh so you can see now welcome to fun of heuristic and we have some emojis here here you will see that the url you are using for sending a mail is localhost 3000 then the send mail okay so this is the 3000 port so the application is running on 3000 port then we are using the post method on send mail so that i'm sending the request to send mail so that will be easier to know in the post you have a request and response as a callback method and from that we are, i am grabbing the request dot body so that whatever request you are sending from the front end that is uh, uh, if you go here i created a user okay user has a name and an email and you are passing that user to this send email method and in the post call we are using that uh, we are sending that data okay so uh, we are using this here so user is there and i have created a method it's called send mail in passing the user and have a call back we need to create a transporter transporter means you will define which which one is the host in which port you want to send a mail and what is security and authentication and all like your username password the sender username password username means the email id and the password so here i am using google uh, as it's free and so node node mailer uh, the create transporter uh, creating transporter is uh, receiving an object so uh, host is the smtp.gmail.com this is host for the google like google means the gmail then port is 587 is the default port for google secure is false you have like saying true if the port is 465 false for other ports okay so authentication is my email and password search in the google less secure app if less secure app is turned on that means you are allowed to send mail to the user mail options are i uh, say i'm saying that from uh, fun of heuristic so this is this is what you will get displayed there i will show you two is a user dot email user we are getting from the front end i'm just writing a transporter then send mail 
and the mail option I'm giving this transporter it just created here so it will send a mail to the sender like the user dot email here okay and by the way you can give a list of like you can give an array here also okay you can give an array of uh, string or a string with comma a lot of uh, string is there like if you go here you will get to know that uh, you, you can give like this as well you can give like this so you can give a string of uh, mail also or you can give an array here also like if you want to send mail to the multiple people and we are getting the info and we are sending the info in a callback okay so that callback we are catching here is the info and we are sending back the info to the client so this is how you can send a mail to the user in point from node.js okay so now i will go to the application and try to submit uh, the form and before that i will uh, on the console so you can take a look here also that uh, that logging should happen okay so if it gets succeed then only the logging so now you can see it's submitting now we got the message that yeah some emojis then subrat is successfully registered and mail has been sent with the mail id here if we go to the email you will see that we will get an email welcome to fun of heuristic so i got the email so he saying hi so brother thanks like you have seen here what you are sending the email as hi so brother uh, hi so brother with the name and thanks for joining us it's the email is that's what uh, the email is so that's it for today today we learned how we can send a mail to the user or to ourselves by using node mailer and some interaction and getting the data from the angular or any ui that doesn't matter so like the video if you like it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet share the video among your friend and give your valuable comment in the comment section below we are going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye